take this method in da'wah that we should be the best. Yeah? And the Prophet said, that if a person does a good deed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yuhibbu an yutqinahu. Allah loves that that person does it in the best possible way. The best possible way. I remember my teacher from Sinagash who I memorized Quran when I was memorizing Surah al Shura. Uh, and it was Surah al Shura. It was very difficult for me at that time. I didn't speak Arabic in, in Oklahoma with Sheikh Abu Mustafa. Remember? And, and I went to him and I memorized Surah al Shura. Sort of and I had a, you know, kind of like, mm, you know what I mean? So I came to him. I used to drive an hour every day to memorize me to him. And I came to him. And I read Surah Tashwa. Actually, we were traveling together at the time of the and, and I read to him, and it was like, no, it was okay. It wasn't all the way there. And he told me to go back and do it again. So I said, Sheikh, but I didn't, I didn't make any mistakes. He said, yeah, but that's not enough. Right? It's not enough. It's called Tajweed. And Tajweed is from the word Ihsan. Tahsin is shape. To do something right, to do it in an excellent way. So then I, uh, I went back, reviewed it. 20, 30 minutes, you know how we are. I was like 23, 22. Thought I remember everything. And, and came back to him, read it, made a mistake on the first page. I said, go back, do it again. So the whole day kept coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And finally, you know, I started crying. I said, Sheikh, you can't do it. And he said, everyone who tried to do this had to cry like that. Anyone who has tried to memorize Quran properly will cry over it. And he said, those tears, let us who will see that you want to know. Allah will not forget them, but this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. So you learn from the Quran, studying, reading, and thinking on the Quran, and studying with someone, the importance of like excellence. It should be excellent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَلَقَدَ زَيْدِرْنَا Allah subhanahu wa beautified the heavens. He didn't just make this dunya ugly, he made it beautiful. Why? So we can think about the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be reminded in Allah 